see in last video I uh, found uh, the excess pressure inside a liquid bubble or liquid drop now I'll try to uh, correlate this excess pressure and curvature of the surface in general let's try to correlate the excess pressure how the excess pressure depends on the curvature of the film or curvature of the liquid surface in general because that and, and the formula that we will be deriving that will be used for finding out excess pressure in, in inside inside any kind of bubble it may not be a, a, say a spherical bubble it may be a cylindrical film kind of thing also so the formula i'll try to derive a general formula which can be used in uh, getting excess pressure inside any kind of film so i'll tell you in what way what's the general relation between excess pressure and a curvature suppose we have a surface suppose we have a liquid surface say we have something like this say this liquid surface this can be thought as a part of cylinder so this is a liquid surface this is a liquid surface it's curved kind of thing right it's a curved page or you can say curved uh, um, I take a rectangular surface and I make it make it curved make it curved right so this is a curvature I make this uh, rectangular surface suppose we have a rectangular surface and we just make it a curve kind of thing so it is curved surface you have curvature along one side you have one curvature see what do you mean by one curvature or two curvature see in a case of surface surface is curved along two directions curved along this also is curved along this also a cylinder is curved along this but it's not curved along this so cylinder has got one curvature the surface of cylinder is curved along this but it's not curved along lengthwise lengthwise is not curved lengthwise it is not curved this why it is curved so it has got single curvature and in case of uh, sphere sphere is curved from all sides so you have two independent direction in which a sphere is curved sphere is curved along this also and sphere is curved along this also so you have two curvatures in sphere you have two curvatures in sphere getting a point if you have a uh, say uh, two disc and we have a water inside film we have a film so it is curved along this it is curved along suppose we have two solid discs there right and between two solid discs we may have a soap solution over here we may have soap solution so it's a kind of film whose upper surface is disc lower surface is also disc so if the soap solution has got this kind of thing then you have this curvature but if soap solution has got a meniscus if I consider that this uh, uh, you have this disc you have this disc over here and you have a disc over here and this soap solution has got a suppose it has got a meniscus like this like this so it is curved on two there, there are two curvature now see here I didn't consider meniscus now it is curved along this and it's curved along this also is curved along this also is curved along this and is curved along this also like uh, you have uh, uh, this kind of uh, musical instrument so it is curved along this this is also one see if it is cylinder it has got a single curvature but if it is cylinder with curved surface area it, it is cylinder with uh, curvature curved surface area like this so you have two curvature over here one is this curvature and other is this curvature so you have two curvature now so that's what we mean when we say one curvature or two curvature so I am considering a seat this can be a part of cylinder so it has got only one curvature curvature along this side no curvature along this side no curvature along this side this is small seat element you can say and let's try to calculate and this seat is not made of metal this is a film 
this can be a liquid surface it is a it's a part of liquid surface a single surface with a film it will be two surface so i am considering a single surface liquid surface right it's a single one a single surface all right in fact this is a, a liquid surface element you can say suppose this is your we have taken surface element suppose this is say this is d theta and this is r then this is going to be r d theta and suppose this length is l suppose this length is l all right so of course in this case you have the excess pressure on this side the pressure on this side will be higher than pressure on this side suppose p is the excess pressure p is the excess pressure all right so the net force acting on this film in upward direction would be excess pressure into area of this film and area of the film would be r d theta into this l and when i say film i mean surface basically over here the net force in upward direction uh, on this liquid surface would be p excess pressure into r d theta this surface element into this l that is area of the this surface and in downward direction so you have tension surface tension in this direction the force due to surface tension will be in this direction so this is going to be d theta by 2 and this is going to be d theta by 2 so you have 2t sin d theta by 2 and uh, this uh, length is how much this length is l that will be net force due to surface tension in downward direction this is net force 2t sin d theta by 2 this is a vertical component horizontally downward and this is length l because this tension will act on this we have taken we have isolated this uh, uh, element of the film element of the surface and i am calculating the net force acting on this element in upward direction and net force acting on this surface because of surface tension in downward direction they must be equal to t sin d theta by 2 into length of this film length right into this length uh, and the force which is acting on this will cancel out of course the force which is acting on this part and force acting on this part is going to cancel out but force acting on this part and this part their horizontal component will cancel out but vertical component will add up and that vertical component 2d 2t sin d theta by 2 into this length we have t is force per unit length so we have to multiply this length and force acting on this part of the film and force acting on this part of the film it will in inward direction it will be in outward direction they will cancel out but force acting on this part and this part their what horizontal component will cancel out but vertical component will add up so it is the vertical component 2t sin d theta by 2 into l and now we are able to get the thing d theta is very small so it is d theta by 2 like this or this d theta, d theta will cancel out so excess pressure is basically t by r excess pressure is t upon r getting a point now this is how pressure related to the pressure related to the curvature so in case of the cylinder you have one curvature so the excess pressure inside is t by r if it is cylindrical cylindrical drop if it is a cylindrical drop the x cylindrical drop has got only one surface and it has got only one curvature so inside cylindrical drop excess pressure is t by r but if it is cylindrical bubble then you have two surfaces and you have single curvature for each surface as is but but since you are taking bubble bubble is consisting of two surface inner surface outer surface and in between you have a liquid solution or soap solution or whatever material it is made up of so since you have two surfaces and each surface has got a single curvature 
You don't have a curvature on this side along lengthwise. You have curvature along the curved surface like this. So each surface has got one curvature. So T by R plus T by I is 2 T by R. It's a cylindrical bubble. But if I take the case of uh, this liquid drop, if I take a case of liquid drop, see liquid drop or spherical liquid drop, sorry, it's a cylindrical liquid drop we already discussed. Now we are taking a case of spherical liquid drop. See, a sphere has got two curvature. Curvature along this side and curvature along this side also. If you want to make a sphere, then you have to take a piece of paper. You have to start folding like this also. You have to start folding like this also. If I want to fold, fold in these two directions, you will get a sphere. Though it is not possible to do. While you make a uh, cylinder out of a sphere, you just have to fold on one side and you get a cylinder. But if in you know, order to make a sphere, you have to fold it along this side, you have to bend it along this side. You have to bend it simultaneously along two sides. So then you will get a sphere. But which is manually is not possible to do. So sphere has got two curvature. Right. And due to each curvature, the excess pressure is T by R due to this curvature and T by R due to this curvature. So net excess pressure is 2T by R. It is cylindrical drop. And if it is cylindrical bubble, then bubble has got two surface and each surface has got two curvature. So 2T by R because of each surface. So it will be 4T by R. It will be 4T by R. Getting a point? See, when do you add the, uh, uh, when do you add the excess pressure due to different curvatures? You add it when center of curvature lie on the same side. See, due to this curvature also center of curvature lie on this side. And due to this curvature also center of curvature lie on this side. So, excess pressure due to these two curvature will get added up. So, do you have any case where the excess pressure due to two curvatures will get subtracted? I will give you a case. I will give you a case. See, suppose we take a two disc. Suppose we have a two disc. Suppose this is one disc and this is another disc and you please fill water over here you fill water over here bring the disc very close bring the disc very close suppose it is lying at a distance of d and d is very small d is very small and suppose you put water in between these two discs between these two discs so what will the shape of water surface see water surface will have a meniscus we will discuss meniscus in great detail after this topic. Water surface will have a meniscus. You will have this kind of meniscus on all sides. Not just on this side. You have meniscus like this. Like this. On all the sides. So see this surface has got two curvature. One is this curvature. And other is this curvature. You have two curvature in this surface. This curvature and this curvature. This is one curvature circular and this is the other curvature. This is radius R suppose uh, and this D is of course very small compared to R. We have brought this disc together with a liquid in between. I is the radius of disc, D is a dissimilar into disc and this is very small compared to R. Now in this case see, this curvature, the center of curvature lies inside in the liquid. And this curvature, center curvature lies outside. Get your point? So pressure due to this curvature will be inside and that will be T upon R. But pressure due to this curvature will be along this side, on this side. Excess pressure due to this curvature will be on this side. Excess pressure due to this curvature will be inside liquid. So inside liquid, this curvature leads to increase in pressure inside liquid and that increases T by R. But this curvature leads to decrease of pressure inside and that decrease of pressure inside is T upon center of uh, the radius of curvature would be how much? D by 2. T upon D by 2. And since it leads to decreasing pressure, so net excess pressure would be given by this. In general, your excess pressure is given by T upon R1 plus minus T upon R2. This will be plus if radius of curvature, center of curvature lie on the same side. And this will be minus if center of curvature lie on the other side. 
if you have a film and one center of it has got two curvature and one center of curvature lie on one side of the one side of the surface and other center of curvature lie on the other side of the surface then in that case you have to put minus sign over here like in this case see you have two curvature one is this curvature other is this curvature this curvature has got center curvature inside and this curvature has got center curvature outside right so you have to put minus sign over here r1 is this r this r and this r i am taking it to be same and uh, the radius of curvature of this would be if i assume it to be a semicircle it would be this d by 2 d by 2 right so this would be t 1 by r minus 2 by d and this r is very large compared to d so this is approximately equal to what minus 2 t by d minus means the pressure inside is less than pressure outside the pressure inside is less than pressure outside and since d is very small this excess pressure is very high means the difference of pressure inside and difference of the difference between pressure over here and pressure over here will will differ by large amount the pressure over here and pressure over here will differ by large amount and that's why you might have observed that when you place these two metallic discs together it's very hard to separate because the pressure over here is very small compared to pressure over here so you have to apply a large force to overcome this difference in pressure so it is very difficult to separate the two if you have in a kitchen you have two discs getting uh, you see they stick to each other if you have a small water uh, layer in between two discs then uh, between two thalis you can say this is then they get stuck to each other they get stuck to each other because the pressure inside is very small compared to pressure outside pressure inside is very small compared to pressure outside that's why they stick to each other that's very hard to separate you have to apply force 2t by d into area of the disc in order to separate it in order to separate it you have to apply force equal to this into area of this disc in order to separate it so it's very hard to separate this disc so what people do is people try to pull this on this way and this on this side so they are able to separate it this way but it's very hard to separate by applying force in this direction and this direction but you can do it this way because shear stress is very less than liquid all right so that's that's the relation between excess pressure and curvature that's the relation between excess pressure and curvature okay so i'll stop over here thank you